गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स होप यू आर ऑल फाइन एट योर होम एंड माई चैप्टर गोइंग टू बी एंड वेरी सून इलेक्शन रिप्रेजेंटेशन एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विल स्टार्ट द एग्जीक्यूटिव लिसन टू मी वेरी केयरफुली फ्रॉम टूडे ऑनवर्ड्स आई विल गिव यू सम टॉपिक्स टू रीड अप दिस विल बी अ होमवर्क to read i will give you the homework in written also that you have to read these topics and there could be a question in the forthcoming examination on these that topics also so those reading is your homework we you have to understand from the book and i will i will clean your basically i will put the base and you will be able to understand if you think if you go deep in with your book and thoroughly read the topic so there will be homework from towards uh, from today onwards for reading purpose to understand it and to learn it right so i started yesterday uh, about the universal adult franchise i told you that anybody anyone who is 18 years and above he can go for vote right and what is to of the right to vote is also to right to contest election there are two things right to vote and contest to election if you are if you are citizen of india both of it too you can do it all citizens have the right to stand for election and become the representative of the people whosoever are the candidate right whosoever the citizen of india they can go for vote and they can stand for the stand for the as a candidate for in the election the representative of the people and they could be a representative of the people however there are different minimum age requirements for contesting election minimum age requirement is there and other requirements are also there so i told you that all citizens have the right to stand election and uh, election and they represent the people so there are different minimum age requirement for contesting election for example in order to stand for lok sabha or assembly election a candidate must be 25 years of age if we, uh, if you go you want to fight the election and you should be 25 years of age right and if you go for the election you for the you should be an adult it means 18 years of age there are some other restrictions also for instance there is a legal provision that a person who has undergone imprisonment for two or more years for some offense or otherwise they they are disqualified from contesting election it is those all say uke upar kisi ko saza mili hai from any for any type of offense he is not qualified for election he is disqualified but there are no res- uh, restriction of income education or class or gender on the right to contest the election otherwise there is no any other other um, other restrictions on them he could be he or she whosoever right and um, there is no any education barrier nothing else so in this sense our system of election is open to our citizens so and this all election scenario who control this all election scenario and that is called Indi- we have got independent election commission india is having independent election commission and uh, uh, let me remind you there was um, election commissioner once upon time they were lot of political parties they used to be having a lot of fear they were very apprehensive from election commissioner right one was mr t n session the political parties used to call him l session l session he he and he used to be proud he used to feel proud that political parties have so much fear with that particular t n session they used to call him l session l session is a breed of dog ferocious dog Several efforts have been made in India to ensure the free and fair election system to process the most important among these these is the creation of an independent election commission we have india is having independent election commission what for what purpose to supervise and conduct election do you know what is a what that in many countries there is an absence of 
independent mechanism for conducting a elections lot of countries they don't have this type of free independent election commission over here uh, in that particular country and uh, you know election commissioners are, are appointed by the president of india but he cannot remove them right so one is very important question what is article 324 right the superintendent's direction and control of the preparation of the electoral rolls for and the conduct of all elections to the parliament and to the legislature of every state and of elections to the offices of president and vice president held under the constitution shall be vested in a commission referred to this constitution as election commission मीन जितने भी इलेक्शन भारत देश में होंगे वॉट एवर मे बी फ्रॉम प्रेसिडेंट टू लोकसभा टू राज्यसभा वाइस प्रेसिडेंट प्राइम मिनिस्टर वॉट एवर द मेन इलेक्शन वेल बिद दैट विल बी अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ इलेक्शन कमीशन राइट एंड आर्टिकल थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन प्रोवाइड फॉर एन इंडिपेंडेंट इलेक्शन कमीशन फॉर द सुप्रिंटेंडेंस डायरेक्शन एंड कंट्रोल ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रल रोल and a very important for they give the election commission a decisive role to play to do whatever whatever they think they that is good for the election purpose the supreme court has agreed with this interp interpretation of the commission right it's very important part and uh, you have to read this whole whole particular part about this article 24 election commission of india and tomorrow i will i will define you about the election commission of india and its wide range of functions right you have read these two pages very carefully about the election commission and all and its commission's work right take care read thoroughly go through your textbook because the exams are coming up Thank you and I have a nice day.